Before we get into the free agency shit, Chase, I feel like we have to talk a little bit about your ride and JJ's ride just because we have you on. It's like the craziest thing ever, and I feel it, it, it's really funny to me that we have Jackson, who's Draymond's producer, <laughs> and then you, it's like, uh, th- this was not 20 years ago a like position of proximity to power of being a podcast producer, obviously. This is like a very new world. So what, what's the last couple months been like for you? Uh, and, and yeah, what are you doing for a job now, bro? Um, well, it's been pretty surreal. I, I, th- I think, especially given that, you know, JJ hasn't c- actually like been on the sidelines yet. So the only B roll that they have is on the <laughs> podcast. So if you're just out to lunch and you just see it and you're like, oh yeah, that's, you know, I don't have anything to do anymore because of this situation. <laughs> it's like very surreal. And, and when you, when you, you know, if you, as you said, if you were to tell yourself 10 years prior that that's the situation you're going to find yourself in, it's pretty unbelievable. It's like black mirror of the NBA. It doesn't make any, it's just, it's just wild. But, you know, personally I am, I, I, I am very happy for JJ and and he's going to be awesome. Like, there's no question about it for me. I don't know. Man. We'll figure it out. <laughs> That's I mean, a, I mean <laughs> what, what was like the roller coaster of emotions during the whole process? Because I know it had to be like, you know, a wow moment when, you know, you got the news that JJ and LeBron wanted to team up for a podcast. Then you get the news that JJ is the head coach of the Lakers. Like, what was that ride like? Yeah, I think the funniest thing being being a little bit on the inside and, and sort of understanding what LeBron's camp has to go through every day is that I think everyone assumes that this is like some 10 year Illuminati plan <laughs> that happened. And it very much was not like, and I, to the degree that I couldn't believe no one was talking about it when we would go into record and it would be like bleeding first take and no one would say anything. And I think there was a, there was a real commitment to the podcast and there was a real commitment to um, the type of podcast we wanted to make. Uh, But no, this was not, this was not a plan. I think that was the, that's been the funniest part. And, and I spent the last week of the finals with JJ, um, and yeah, I mean, it it was all happening like you could see it all sort of cascading at once and and started to move quickly. Personally, I I'm bummed that it's ending just because like this this is ending for now um, because he yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a great job. It was a great I podcast. Mean, I mean, I I I I just yeah. have two people of that caliber say we want to do a different kind of a thing and then do it so successfully. And you were a big part of it, but yeah, like I. I would. I mean, I'm a Lakers fan. I was hoping at that point that obviously JJ was the guy, but I was part of me was yeah. like, oh, well, I'm. I mean, I'm. I kind of hope they'll keep the podcast going. I like the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> how did it? How did it come about? How did like you know LeBron James? I want to do a podcast with JJ. Like, how did that come about? J- just like yeah, that. Was know, it I just like that? that. Yeah. I'm LeBron James, exactly. and I want to do a podcast with JJ. Since, since it wasn't a plan for him to be head coach, what was the plan then? <laughs> it, it it wasn't that crazy, you know. LeBron really wanted to really wanted to dabble in certain types of mm-hmm. media, but I, I would say he didn't. He wasn't really interested in traditional media. I don't think he was interested in the sort of like normal player podcast. And so they, uh, someone in LeBron's camp, had sort of mentioned JJ. So they had met for dinner and sort of. You know, that's Drunk when the a conversation starts. Yeah, yeah. Broke some bread. <laughs> it was great. And then um, I think the idea sort of started from there. And then and then it just like, how do you make an X's and O's podcast interesting? Having LeBron James yeah. helps. It makes my life pretty <laughs> easy. But staying true to that, trying to to eliminate, you know, the not to be so takey and not to be mm-hmm. so like just straight up storytelling. It was uh, you know, there was there was a pretty big commitment to that, but you know, it works. Uh, it it, 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 it well. did feel it, it, it did feel now. like a real cheat code getting LeBron on a podcast with that mission because I think um, anyone who's in journalism or producing, there's always a little bit of a like, how do we make people eat like a little bit of vegetables? Like, how do we not just be yeah. the takiest, shittiest stuff? And um, it's like being able to tell people like these vegetables will give you superpowers. Yeah, it's you know what I mean. <laughs> it's, it's like what the vegetables actually now are the yeah. selling point. Is that Le- this is what LeBron wants to talk about, and you want to listen to what LeBron talks about. So here you go. Yeah, and LeBron's like a really good like orator, and either that's something that I wasn't I wasn't um, expecting, and it was like pleasantly surprised because JJ, I know JJ, I've been working with him forever. He is as prepared as anyone I've ever met. If he is like going to interview 
the Burger King mascot, he will have a thing in notes that are just like everything about that person, everything he does and everything. And Good so going into that coach, first episode. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> he was, um, first episode, he had like a stack of notes. And I was like, oh, wow. Like, I'd be curious to see how LeBron, and like, of course, LeBron just sits down and just not, he he has no prep. He is like, just he has let's go. You the super get up, I'm going. Yeah. And that, that was the coolest thing. Um, to see and then to see like the enthusiasm he loves to talk about this stuff with. So, um, yeah, I think I think it's going to be good. And 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 uh, JJ, I mean, he, for him to be able to command a room that LeBron is in, I think just that trait in itself is is why I have like a lot of confidence. I have a, a, a so. goofy producer question. Were the explainers something that were decided after hearing the conversation or was that like? We're gonna need to put some training wheels on before we throw them out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So <clears throat> the thought there was, we only have a finite amount of time with LeBron. We don't want to pause mm -hmm. him and say, or reference, this is what this mm -hmm. means. It's a little bit of why we did the, uh, uh, you know, the definitions on the screen, the calls to yeah. certain plays, and then also the intro where JJ sort of boringly just, you know, this is what sure, this is. Yeah. But like. He didn't want to do that with LeBron at all. So that's kind of how that came to be. Um, that that was personally a challenge. Uh, Jackson will tell you, I'm a pretty big control freak. Mm -hmm. And so that uh, the the editing of Mind the Game, I was very controlling over. But holy crap, I was like, the first episode, I was like, I don't know what any of this <laughs> means. They were like a foreign language. So I had to, I had to figure mm -hmm. that out, figure out a system. And like, it was, it was a lot. Now I, I mean, now I could, coach the Mavericks. <laughs> really good JJ to call you up, man. Get you on that bench, bro. Um, you know, you you said that that this wasn't a master plan. Okay, thank my, you, Tyler. Yeah, I have my skepticism. Maybe not on JJ's part, yeah. but you know, like I say, I I'm just very skeptical yeah. that Ron would hop out hit here mid season, you know, with with a, a a guy like JJ who winds up being the head coach, though. But, you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm trusting the guy on the inside here. But did you ever have a moment because, you know, there's plenty of moments where I was watching the pod and I was like, these dudes have a really good synergy, right? Like they see the game the yeah. same way. I think it would be a good match if, if you know, they would could work together in the NBA in some capacity. Did you ever have those moments? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Especially when the rumors started to fall, um, you know, I obviously trying to sort of like equate the energy of like a, a podcast to a coach and player relationship is like, Mm -hmm. completely opposite but based on that yeah and also like this was a real this was a real like it, i knew jj was smart but seeing him like flex like that and off the off the top of the head it is it was it, it i was like i can't believe he he needs to he's probably going to get hired this off season that that did cross my mind for sure especially i mean he was in multiple team yeah. rumors so um that that I didn't think it was going to be the Lakers because I thought the scenario was going to be too funny and the universe just doesn't work that way. But, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, and I understand the skeptic, you know, the skepticism, by the way, because I used to do a show called NBA Desktop. And I I've talked to Jason Concepcion before about how, like, if this had happened, we would have done a full blown like investigation into <laughs> how this was all planned. Yeah. Like, well, you had to have seen ago. the clip you know that got I recirculated of the like Braun asking. I mean, you were on the show. You were obviously like watching it happen live. But the clip went. The, the clip. I think Claire actually. Uh, Claire Deloon was the one who who clipped it and and put it back out. But where he's like in the fourth quarter, you know, championship game. Like, what what would you do? And then he's like, you know, with your kids team. You know what I mean? Like, it, like <laughs> there are a couple of clips that definitely look very Illuminati ish, as Tyler was referencing. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I get it. I and I definitely. Uh, but I, as I said, I, I, I never really saw. It. They did allude to it one time where the rumors, uh, but it was sort of like uh, they didn't, they didn't acknowledge yeah. it directly. They just kind of winked, winked at it, but. That that was all I saw. The only the clip that I most was like, oh, maybe JJ will be a good coach. Was there's a clip where LeBron is talking about um, scrolling through Twitter and occasionally seeing some highlights of his, and JJ just cuts him off, and he's just like, dude, you. Every player looks up to his own highlights. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> and like, I was like, I I don't know if I've ever seen anyone cut LeBron off mid sentence to basically say 
<laughs> it's okay. You can tell the truth here. Uh, and that's what I was like, oh, wow, JJ has, he's got a lot of confidence. <laughs> that was a great moment. And you're right. Yeah. If that had fallen flat, it would have been pretty tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's good. That was when I was like, I'm more into the personality yeah. thing. And I was like, oh, this. This is a good. This is All good right. Fit. Well, forget about what the calendar says. Football season is right around the corner. And that means Best Ball Week at DraftKings isn't far behind. Here's what you need to know DraftKings Best Ball Millionaire Contest is their biggest fantasy contest ever. We're talking 15 million guaranteed prize pool with two. That's right. Two millionaires being crowned for first and second place. If you're a set it and forget it type, then Best Ball is for you. No waiver wires, no roster management, bigger roster so injuries won't end your season. Only the draft, and that's it. You're set for the season. And $15 million in prize money is no joke. Still not convinced? Check this out. This year, DraftKings is offering everyone a draft one, get one special. Your $20 entry fee scores you a bonus ticket. Get ready for best ball week at DraftKings. Download the DraftKings app and use code Jenkins. That's code J-E-N-K-I-N-S, Jenkins. For all customers who enter the NFL Best Ball $15 million millionaire contest to get a bonus ticket. Only during Best Ball Week. Only on DraftKings. 